Hmm. In the words of Angela Dundee to the Morant family, more specifically, Ja, you're blowing it, baby. You're blowing it, kid. You're blowing it. You're blowing it. And you are a grown man, so you are responsible for your own behavior. But I'm going to say something out of love that needs to be said. And I haven't heard nobody come from this angle and, and say this. You know, there's a lot of stress and pressure on that young man, too. Um, the difference is he feels the need to protect everybody. First of all, I want to know from Ja's mom, why would you even call your son to the finish line because some problem was going on? Why would you even put your son, that's an NBA pro, into that kind of situation? So let's, let me start this because that right there is a problem. Those are the kind of things that we do. That make me say, you're blowing it, kid. You're blowing it. When your father, and I'm sure he is not happy with the way you're performing. But um, to me, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, when he start being at the games like he was one of the players... As opposed to being one, a father, that never set well with me. And I only got a couple players that I, I, I really like and, and cause that's playing the game right now. And he's one of them. I like that little John Morant. He's box office. So is Kyrie. But what I do want to say is there's no excuse for you sitting up there parading and showing those guns like that. That ain't nothing to be doing. You in the city. Lord have mercy. You in the city. And you representing Memphis like that. Look. You got Tyre, Tyree Nichols. You got Dolph. You got all this murder taking place in this black town. With guns. And then you get on IG. And every time you play around. Uh, with bottles and things. You got to make it like you cocking it back. That don't got no place here in this NBA. It don't have no place in your life. Because you going to start drawing that type of energy to you young man. And that is something you do not need. As you see now. Ain't no sense like bought sense. I heard that Colorado was dropped, um, uh, killed the investigation, but now guess what? They want to find out if you ever had a gun in the locker room. Because now, no player is bigger than the game. Not a player is bigger than the game. That's why I said LeBron James got a greatness that's got nothing to do with the basketball for me, the game itself, the way he's carried himself as an eighteen-year-old carrying the franchise. You can't, you can't spot his career, and that's what you gotta appreciate. And because every young black man don't want to be a gang member, LeBron came from the mud. He had, he was in that situation, and that's why he don't glorify it. It's not a part of him. In fact, anybody you would think would be acting like that would be DeMar DeRozan <laughs> or somebody uh, um, that is in a heart, Compton, of gang territory. You would see, I mean, if you saw him acting like that, it seems like the ones that really were, are in those environments, 
they glad to get out of it, and they appreciate the NBA and it, and the chance to change the condition for their families. That means something, and it should mean something to the Morant family. And I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I'm trying to let y'all know right now, hopefully he get past this. And and it's not a Plaxico Burroughs situation. But if it's not, then I blame all y'all that's supposed to be guidance. I don't care how much money he make. My grandson couldn't say that to me. And you think I'm not going to talk to him like I'm talking to you right now because he got paper? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be like, you you, you pushing the envelope. Now, he don't got to like it, and he don't got to uh, send, but he better not disrespect me. Because that's exactly what I would say to my grandson. What you doing playing with these damn guns? What is you doing? And another thing, I wouldn't call him. I wouldn't call him if I was having some problems for him to come with his boys and to get in more trouble, and he's an NBA player, got a chance to uh, make a, a, a quarter of a, a million, billion dollars? Uh-uh. Get your priority straight. And y'all must be young parents. Was, was young parents, T and, your, and his wife, but right now y'all better grow up fast. Because your son is facing some real serious stuff. And I know you know now. But y'all got to stop it too. And y'all got to really, really lead by example. It don't just mean uh, coming from a two-parent household. It means when you know better, you know, you know damn well you shouldn't have been calling your son. To come and straighten out your situation. Uh-uh. You ain't been calling him, have you? When he was a little boy, did you call him to beat the uh, the uh, 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 people up that, that disappointed you? So ain't no different now. Don't call your son into no crap like that. If anything, you should have called your husband. Okay? Anyway. I mean, I'm just saying that because you know how boys are about their mothers. You know how they they are. Most of them, no matter how dysfunctional we are, they're going to come to roll for us. Okay? And that's not nothing you should take advantage of or something that you should have them doing. Because you'll know what they'll do. Most boys are crazy about their mothers. But you don't want to lead them down the wrong path, lead them to the slaughter. And I mean that. And I just had to say that because I don't see nobody coming from the angle of why did the mother call the uh, the son? Why did she call the police? Why would you put your son in that type of situation? And he just spiraled out of control. I hope this works out well for your family because not many of us get a chance to hit the lottery like this to change our lives generation. And you can lose it all off some dumb stuff. I'm praying for your family. Because not only beyond a basketball, of, as for you as a young man, you don't need that much pressure and stress on you. Let the grown people around you be grown. And the people that don't mean you no good that's hanging around you, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Because they can't vicariously live your life. You taking them on trips and road in places they'll never go. But if they don't appreciate it and they can't be 100 with you, you don't need them around you. Because both of y'all be sitting up in a damn poorhouse somewhere, in jail somewhere. And it was your journey. So you're responsible for it. All right. I'm done with my preaching to John Morant. And he probably will never see this video. But if you get a chance to see it, I wish you well, young man. <laughs>